in just the time since I became Secretary General, a tool has been developed to edit genes. Neurotechnology, connecting technology with the human nervous system, has progressed from idea to proof of concept. Cryptocurrencies and other blockchain technologies are widespread, but across a host of new technologies, there is a forest of red flags. Social media platforms, based on a business model that monetizes outrage, anger, and negativity, are causing untold damage to communities and societies. Hate speech, misinformation, and abuse, targeted especially at women and vulnerable groups, are proliferating. Our data is being bought and sold to influence our behavior, while spyware and surveillance are out of control, all with no regard for privacy. Artificial intelligence can compromise the integrity of information systems, the media, and indeed democracy itself. Quantum computing could destroy cybersecurity and increase the risk of malfunctions to complex systems. We don't have the beginnings of a global architecture to deal with any of these. Excellencies, progress on these issues and more is being held hostage by geopolitical tensions. Our world is in peril and paralyzed. Geopolitical divides are undermining the work of the Security Council, undermining international law, undermining trust and people's faith in democratic institutions, undermining all forms of international cooperation. We cannot go on like this. Even the various groupings set up outside the multilateral system by some members of the international community have fallen into the trap of geopolitical divides like in the G20. At one stage, international relations seem to be moving towards a G2 world. Now we risk ending up with a G nothing. No cooperation, no dialogue, no collective problem solving. But the reality is that we live in a world where the logic of cooperation and dialogue is the only path forward. No power or group alone can call the shots. No major global challenge can be solved with a coalition of the willing. We need a coalition of the world.